Mark and Andrew is here in London in the UK. Now, I've been to around 170, 174 countries, I think, and I've been to China twice. And I think it's just wonderful. It's a great destination. It's really like a dream. I just loved it. And once this pandemic is over, I hope to return as soon as possible. And I think one of my first stops will be Beijing's Forbidden City. It's known as the Imperial Palace of China's Ming and Qing dynasties, and it's one of the most valuable historic complexes and cultural relic collections in the world. Now, I first went there around 10 years ago, 2011, and I can't wait to visit again. It's vast, it's imposing, and it's just beautiful. If you look at the photographs of the Forbidden City, I say it's probably the red walls and the golden appearance that stands out the most. Actually, some people say the purpose of Columbus's voyage wasn't to find America, but actually China, because it was said to, due to the wealth of the great Mongol Empire, even the tops of the buildings were made of gold. The gold covering the Forbidden City actually, actually refers to the impressive glazed golden tiles. Both the roofs and walls are covered with this beautiful golden tiling. It really is something to be seen. And if you take a photograph, it's like looking out in the vast golden ocean. It's so, so beautiful. Now, for the culture vultures, art lovers amongst us, you can imagine how wonderful and exciting it would be to collect a piece of such oriental tiling or gold. And a Chinese friend of mine knows how much I love history and art. So he's introduced me to a fascinating artist from China's Shanxi province. What's even more amazing is that Mr. Su is online with me today. So hello, Mr. Su, nice to meet you. Thank you very much for your time today. Hello, Martin, Jason, ni hao. So tell me about your artwork. I'm really excited that we are speaking one-to-one. Hello. This is from the Qing time to now, it's been 300 years. This is our old man who has seen a beautiful painting. 这个是元代的，到现在就是个将近七百年的琉璃老件。这个是最老的。I wow, that, that's really impressive. So your ancestors repaired the Forbidden City. 是的,因为历史记载,在明嘉靖一五二二年,我祖先就去北京故宫烧制琉璃瓦件。I want to know how important it is for your family to keep this art form ongoing for the next generations. What is so special about these Sioux style colored glaze? Why was it used for the palaces? 最主要的我们核心记忆是它的右彩。也就是我们一直延续祖辈传下来的这个记忆，用我们自己来调制，不需要从外面买。我们在传统的记忆上，我们开发当代的琉璃摆件、琉璃工艺品、文房用品一系列的这个这个琉璃件。呃，我现在带
How much would that cost me if I wanted to buy it? This is based on the size, the size of the wall, the shape of the wall, and the shape of the wall. The price of the wall is determined by the size. Behind, you see, these are all the wall that we make. The wall, the wall, the wall. I will show you a close distance. You can see. So we have lions, we have elephants, we have lots of animals here. That's amazing. What what do they mean symbolically? 一般这个使者都是放在庙宇呀，比较大大厅门院，也就是达官贵贵族的皇家的门口。你像这个像像就是放在我们比较呃民宅呀之类的地方可以是用像的。And if I look closely, is that the oven behind you on the floor? 对。呃，这个、这个窑口就是体现了我们中国八千年到一万年一万年的陶艺烧造史。And how is this fire using wood or coal or electric? 以前以前的前辈吧，他是用的柴火跟煤。我们现在呢，我们必须用这个保护环境，得用电跟气、煤气烧制。可以看看我们这儿的这个电器窑。呃，这个是我这个电窑。And does Does it change the outcome of the art piece, or is it exactly the same? Uh, it's not any different. 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 呃，这个因为我们在烧陶艺的这过程中，有百分之三十的易损件是很正正常的。如果有瑕疵的、有碎老的，也就是都是残次品，这个我们就销毁了，这个不能用了。Wow, thirty percent is a lot, so they can't be saved. Wow. And where would you like your factory to be in ten or twenty years' time? 呃，将来以后吧，就是二七十年以后吧，也就是我的工厂要建成一个。以以这个旅游、呃，研学、参观、餐饮，综合性的这个琉璃文化园区。Well, it's been absolutely fascinating and wonderful、uh, to chat to you today. I really wish that we could do this face to face in the future, and that I could come and visit you. But for the meantime, thank you so much for your time. 马丁先生，非常欢迎你来我们山西，来我们中国，来我们太原苏氏琉璃，来一起互动。Thank you very much. I look forward to meeting you in China. Bye bye. Bye.